first I approached my professor, Dr. Fairbanks, um, actually about an honors project for a class, uh, probably about a year ago. But then I built up a relationship with her over time. So I was like, I know Dr. Fairbanks and she's been really kind to me in the past and she has some really good, cool research going on. Now what inspired this first off is that a uh, master's student in 2015, Emily Arts, was looking at the reason why bears are destroying people's deer feeders. So she conducted a study where she took um, anthropogenic food, that is food produced by humans, i.e. corn in this case, versus a natural food item. She presented both with equal availability, equal opportunity for the bears to get. She had these modified horse toys that had the food capsules inside of them. Um, and she presented both of them at the same time to the bears in the wild. The bears had to shake it, hit it, bat it, do whatever they can to get the food out. Um, and we're just basically looking at what are they going to choose, one or the other. So what we decided to do this summer is to take the, that same concept, those methods, and just transport them down to the Wachita National Forest. All of that is public land. You're not allowed to bait on public land. And so these bears, hopefully, uh, ideally, do not have access to wildlife feeders at all. So they should have no um, memory recollection. They shouldn't have learned anywhere how to manipulate something to get food out of it. If you're an undergraduate, just ask your professors. If you see that they have some really cool research going on, especially in the wildlife field. But if you're not in wildlife, there's also other professors on campus who do amazing research. 